Well, Mother Nature got the best of us this weekend. I mean, it was supposed to be a two-day race weekend. Obviously, you can see outside, got a lot of rain. Uh, it's not going to happen. So, uh, but with that, uh, I got a, a, a good how-to video uh, about carb maintenance. I mean, if you want to take a, you know, if you don't want to watch it, that's fine. Just go ahead and uh, uh, go on to one of my other videos. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll with that video. So uh, if you do like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. But uh, with that, let's get started with the video. Okay, that project done, but guess what? You got it, another project. Uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do, we got a big race coming up uh, this weekend. Uh, it's our bracket race. Um, since they're normal bracket, it's not a two-day race weekend. I think in a few weeks, we have actually a two-day race coming up. Getting the AC turned on. It's getting warm outside, so go ahead and get the AC fired up here. But, uh, but no, we got a race coming up Sunday, or tomorrow. No, what's today? Today's Friday. Yes, I got it coming up Saturday. So what I need to do, the car's been sitting in the trailer here for the past uh, almost two weeks. So what we're going to go ahead and do is get the uh, carburetor off the car. And we need to go ahead and just clean it up, make sure it's running. You know, alcohol's been sitting for a couple weeks. I like to go ahead and clean it up. I don't like the alcohol sitting there that long. If I'm racing about every weekend, I wouldn't have to worry about it. But with the summer months, the humidity and whatever, it's best to go ahead and get these things cleaned out. Don't let them set a long time. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that taken off, clean it up. I'll put it in the shop room and put it back on, start it up, make sure everything works good, check for leaks. Then it should be all ready to go down the track Sunday or Saturday. Good Lord, Ken. Saturday. So uh, let's get started with the project. Okay, really simple. I probably have other videos, how I worked them on the carburetor and all this, but uh, this video is more of just maintenance on the carburetor itself. And what I do, what do I mean by maintenance? <clears throat> maintenance is nothing more than pulling the bowls off, make sure everything's good and clean inside. There's no residue of alcohol sitting there and keeping things gummed up. So we'll take the bowls off, we'll clean out the passages, make sure everything's good and clear. Then basically we'll visit bolt it all back together and uh, go from there but uh, basically just make sure everything's clean I don't have no that alky sometimes be a white chalky stuff we'll make sure that's not laying in here so but uh, I'm not expecting seeing it now if I had this carburetor sitting out probably in my car for the past month or so I'll be more you know I'll probably see some more of that stuff but sitting there only for a week or so it's not gonna be that bad but just to make sure I want to make sure uh, there's no, you know, that chalky stuff because these vent tubes at the top is op open to the alcohol that sits in these bowls. So that's the only concern we have because it is, it kind of, it's kind of an open system. So moisture can still get down into that alcohol. So we'll make sure all that is all cleaned up before we go to the track. So like I said, if I'm running week to week, I probably won't do this. And I have not done it in the past. I've been perfectly fine. I think I've gone along a few weeks and been perfectly fine. But after that, I get kind of leery of it. So anyway, Maintenance is the key to keeping things running good, right? So let's go ahead and get started and get these bowls pulled off. Go from there. Okay, I got all the bowls off. What I like to do is just kind of look inside here and see if you see any chalky stuff laying on the bottom, you know, around the top, any of that stuff. If you can look back here with the float actually connects make sure it still looks like it's moving pretty good up and down uh, just check for any type of chalkiness I don't see anything in here I think I'm pretty good on this bowl uh, this one as well and I normally go ahead and drain the fuel out of the pumps I just just squirt it back into the bowl or in the little cup for the alcohol just kind of give it a squirt and get all the fuel out of here so there's so it's totally empty um, you don't want to keep these things dry I can tell you that so as soon as we get it in the car, um, we'll prime the system up and get some fuel in here. Now, if I was gonna store it long-term, let's say, 
over the winter or something like that, what I would do, I'd put gas down in these carbs, okay? Put it, I'd empty the bowls, uh, let the car run dry out of the methanol in the top of the, the vents here, squirt gas down in it, try to start to up under gas. And once it kind of get, it'll sit there, run pretty rich and shut it off. And this gets fuel all the way through the system. So, so the gas will be actually kind of a lubricant to help keep everything from gumming up and all that stuff. So that's what I would do. Uh, but uh, anyway, so we're pretty much good to go here. I don't see any, any buildup, any chalkiness and stuff like that. It's pretty much clean like it was when we cleaned it up last time. We'll check the jets here just real quick, kind of peek in there with the uh, flashlight and stuff, but I'm not gonna remove them. I mean, we could remove them, but uh, um, but other than that, I think everything was good. I don't see any, that much chalky build, build up in the meter block as well, okay? So everything from my book looks really good to go. Let's go ahead and get this thing bolted back up go from there but anyway that's how I do a quick little maintenance check on this it was running good when we stopped so I think we're ready to get to go for this weekend so let's get this thing back together go from there okay just gonna kind of get everybody up up to date um, I forgot at the last race the felt like the throttle was kind of sticking it would when I get out of it and go to return road it would be at a high idle then if I smack it just a few times, just and it'll drop down to a lower idle. I mean, I don't know if you can hear this or not, but I mean, some of that is because of the the blades, and you can see some of the buildup in there. So I'm going to clean those bores out. I'm going to try to lubricate the shaft as well, because with that methanol going past there, uh, I think it tends to dry it out and stuff. So I'm going to try to get some lubricant in here, to keep keep that well lubricated, so it's not sticking up. So. So yeah, I do have a little bit of maintenance in the bowls and stuff, or in the blades, to keep the, keep those things from sticking. So let me get all that stuff cleaned up, and hopefully it should be a lot better. Okay, it just sticks a little bit, so. Now I'm gonna clean off the springs. It's got a bunch of gum in there and stuff, so it's, try to get all that yeah, stinky stuff. You can really hear it. <laughs> so, try a little cake or something. Do the same thing. Okay. I think it's better. Okay. Seems like that uh, spray lubricant, I think it has some Teflon in it. Um, it doesn't squeak now. So hopefully that'll keep my idle in check. That's frustrating just really high idle then I'd literally I think at some times I don't know if you see my video or not uh, probably didn't post it because it's I'd get down the return road I'd literally shut the car off and turn it back on then it goes back to normal idle so it was definitely sticking when it shouldn't be sticking so but now I think we're good to go got it all cleaned up lubricated should be ready to go for this weekend so let's get this thing back together get this thing tested and go from there. Okay, let's get this sucker back together. These do not have to be torqued hardly at all. You just want to get them kind of good snug. This is a huge wrench, and trust me, you don't want to torque these things down hardly at all. You just want to get it where it's that this bar can still go up and down. You know what I'm saying? But 
enough tight where it does not have to, it will not leak. So, like I said, I'm gonna take adjustment on this guy right here and I'll show you what I do with that. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the power valve. You just want it where it's barely touching and this thing is right, right on top of, I'm not too sure how much pressure it's actually putting on it. So to keep it, to figure that out, we need to loosen this up. Oop, I think I'm gonna have to turn the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Oops. <laughs> Darn it, going the wrong way. You need to make it compress the spring, not decompress it. There we go. There, now she's ticking. I don't know if you can hear that. You can hear it barely ticking. There's no pressure basically on that arm. And you just want it just barely touching. You can see I'm I'm holding the arm in place by the power valve with my finger. And I can lift this up and down ever so slightly. Okay. So what I want to do, I want to come back and uh, just give it a little turn. Hold it. Still barely tight or barely touching. I can still feel it. Okay, do it again. There we go. The thing, it's not really rocking at all now. There's no pressure on that arm. So that one's good to go. I'll do the same thing to the back one, but we have one in front. It's a double pumper, so we got a power valve in the front, a power valve in the back. I'll test that one as well. So guess what? We're ready to get this thing on the car. So let's go ahead and get this thing on the car. We'll get it primed up, test it for fuel leaks before I turn the car on, and uh, we should be good to go. So, let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get this sucker installed. Kind of reverse, reverse order how we did it. So, it does not take that long to get this carburetor on and off. It's really easy to do. We made it easy that way on purpose and once we get it all buttoned up and all that good stuff uh, we'll turn the fuel pump on make sure the bowls are filled up and uh, no, there's no leaks then we'll fire it up real quick to make sure all that looks good okay guys um, I know I mentioned about I'm gonna turn the fuel pump on and uh, I'm gonna test fire it in, in the uh, trailer here but you know Sometimes you have to take a step back and say, is that the smartest thing to do? <laughs> so, and the answer probably for that is no. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow morning. I'm gonna have to take the car out or take the trailer out of the shop anyway, because I have to get the things loaded. I have to get the, have to get the golf cart in here. Uh, I gotta get the bed in here and all that stuff. So I got a little bit of stuff to do tomorrow morning before the, the race tomorrow. So with that, that gives me a great opportunity to test fire the cart in the garage, or in, actually in the trailer. But I'll have the tailgate back open. In case something, anything ever happened where there's a fire or something, I have to get out of here very quickly. Right now there's only one path to get out of here, and that's up through here by the motor and out that door. I can't go out the back door. So, but anyway, I'm gonna to try to do that tomorrow morning before we go to the race. I'm not expecting any problems. So, uh, but uh, I just want to do a little bit of safety first here sometimes. Sometimes you have to think what I said, maybe I don't want to do. And I definitely don't want to do that. I'd rather do uh, a very safety minded, you know, safety in mind, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this rest of the stuff buttoned up and get ready for the race uh, for tomorrow. Uh, so with that, uh, I'm done with this little project. I know these videos are really short and quick, uh, but I got to fill some time in for my uh, weekly re releases. Uh, I'm not too sure I'm going to put this on a Sunday. It might be a midweek release, but uh, I got uh, I got to get something out. But uh, with that, uh, if you do like what you see, go ahead and hit the hit my subscribe button. Uh, make a comment. Uh, hopefully, you learned something from this. 
uh, but this is something everybody that has carburetors with methanol should do anyway. So I just want to put that out there. This is what we do uh, on a periodic basis. We make sure we do maintenance on things, and this is what makes us able to compete every single weekend. If you do maintenance enough on these things, you take care of the car, it'll take care of you. So uh, with that, uh, I'm out of here. Can't wait to go up to Mocan, get some great uh, video shots for your, my subscribers and any of the newcomers. Uh, can't wait to see us uh, uh, for next Saturday to come up. It is going to be a hot, hot Saturday up there. It's going to be one of the hottest days up there for this year. So I'm really anxious to see how, uh, how quick the car is or actually how slow the car is, how much it's going to slow down. So I uh, can't wait to see what it does. Hopefully it still runs a decent time, but I know it's going to be a little bit slower. It's hot and humid and these things, they're not good. So anyway, with that, uh, I think I already said hit the subscribe button, hit the comment, or you know, leave any comments, any of that stuff. Anyway, other than that, I'm out of here.